I know you all have patiently been waiting the entire year for this day, and I'm here to tell you that it has finally arrived. The day is my birthday. <laughs> Monday, April 11th of 1996. That makes me old. Actually, no, you're not old until you turn 30. That's what I always say. So when I turn 30, damn, that's gonna be a sad day. Achoo! So what do we have planned for this, you know, big event? We're going to North Florida. Item number one, I forgot to charge my lights. I didn't just forget to charge it though, I could not find the charger, but I did intend to charge it when I was looking for the charger. Item number two, um, my paddleboard's fin is missing. So we're gonna bring my paddleboard because there's tons of springs in North Florida, and I don't have the freaking fin. I keep the entire paddleboard in my trunk, like the bag, dry bag, paddles, the pump, other pump, life jackets, you know, literally the whole shebang. So I, in case I want to paddle, I'm like, yeah, I have it here. So where in the freaking frick frick is, what's it called? The fin. Where's the fin? Does not make any sense. Weird stuff like this happens. I could not find my GoPro for like a week straight. And then I did laundry and I threw it in the washing machine with a lump of clothes. That's how I found my GoPro, true story. I don't know what else has gone wrong, but that's good. I feel like there's something. But anyway, so the other thing is, Garrett gave me my early birthday gift. Guess what it is? A little corn snake. He's just like the cutest, sweet little thing, and I'm so excited. I asked him to find me a snake, so he caught it straight from the wild. He literally caught that thing with his bare hand, and he wrapped it around the neck, and he wrestled it, and he put it in a little container for me, and he was like, you know what, snake? You're coming home with me because I'm giving you to Laura for her birthday. I'm just kidding. The snake is literally like this big. So freaking cute. Here, I'll show you some clips now. The condo doesn't come out and get it. <laughs> what do they do? They did it with a nail croc too. You see the croc? Okay guys, before we go, I just remembered item number three that went wrong. My birthday's on Monday and we're camping. And I have my period. My girl time. It's my girl time. So I've been having like really bad, really bad cramps. Okay, we gotta go. You ready, you ready to leave? Let's oh. go! Your head's not even in it. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going to Garrett didn't find the light charger for We're me. We're going to Rip City. It's not there. It's not my fault. It didn't exist. Laura's worried about bears even though it's not a threat. He's like, you better not get mad at me if I get close to a bear because he wants to freaking feed it. I want to pet it. I'm going to do my thing and Laura's going to scream and scare the bear or something. When you pass away because you get attacked by a bear for feeding it, am I allowed to upload this to YouTube? You're scared of everything. <laughs> say, say it. If I die from a bear, you can upload this. It's not gonna kill me. If I have my bear. gun, I can just skin him out. I bought bear spray. Let me I tell a, you guys I why I bought bear spray. Hold on. Even though that he may have a gun, what am I supposed to do if I don't have a gun? What if, let's say, there's more than one bear and one's going after <laughs> him and one's coming after me? <laughs> or you think they're grizzly bears? Or what if black do. bears and their cubs could still attack you? What if they're they don't have really cubs? Hungry? They don't have cubs yet. What time of year do they have cubs? Not now. Use the bear spray Hello? for other animals too. It's a good idea to have it just in case it's not like a big deal. Huh? Uh, I just turned the bad bitch to a ratchet. Woo! I put V stones in my glasses. Stuffed a quarter million twenties in a man. 209. Oh no. <laughs> So we just got to the hotel. As you can see, it's nothing fancy. It's just a cheap hotel that we found for the night. It smells really bad. Really, really bad. Musty in the hallway. But our room looks decent. Okay, apparently the microwave <laughs> doesn't work. Garrett's walking around in his underwear. It looks okay. There's a couple of stains and stuff on the ground, but whatever. We have two clean beds, you know, because we're going to be sleeping separate since we're not married. Look at that, do you? Oh, it looks like we have a connecting door. This is just another person. <laughs> That's another person's door, I bet. It's a pretty teal color. So far, there's no bugs. I think we'll I'm hopefully be okay. Let's see what the, what is the view? <laughs> what is it's a great view? Can't oh you can't see anything. Little bug right there. Yeah. Is that a roach? 
Yep. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew it. It was too good to be true. There's a bug in the toilet, a roach. You know what that means? There's probably hundreds of them that are waiting to crawl out of there. <laughs> You're just gonna leave it, Garrett? Do something about it. No, it's it. fine. He's just there. He's okay. Leave him alone. No. We're filling up this cup of water, and I'm going to attempt to push the roach down the drain. So that way... Oh, he's crawling out. So that way he goes down the drain, and then I'll close it. So no more can come up here. Ah! He's crawling! Ah, Garrett! He's a little bug. I just ate him. Ah! There's people sleeping, you're rude. I bet you thought I was kidding. Oh no, we got away. Shot away so fast. Like well guys, we are in the middle of the Osceola National Forest and we're driving around these side roads. And we stopped because Garrett saw a snake, but it got away really fast. And now we're just exploring and we're gonna go on this hiking trail in a little bit. But it's so pretty. Alright guys, we just stopped off at the trail that I wanted to go to. It's called the Florida Trail. The trail is much smaller than I was expecting it to be. It's like super narrow. We don't see any other cars here. We literally parked on the side of the road, but you know, this was on the All Trails app that I use. That's how I found the trail to begin with. So I think it should be fine. Looks really pretty. It's just not really what I was expecting. don't know why I wore my Vans instead of my hiking shoes. Just a Laura moment. <laughs> Look at all this moss. Hmm. Oop, my socks are wet. Gross. You're gonna carry me? Yeah, just don't be a fucking dead weight that's gonna make me trip. You're gonna get in there deep. I just fall ahead first. <laughs> Thank you. I fall, but I, I don't fall completely and I just fling you off head first into the mud. Yeah. You want me to take off my shoes and go barefoot? You wear mine? No. Too big for you. Okay, guys. I hope nobody steals these. Gross. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. It's literally all swamp. Good thing I took those shoes off. Holy moly. This is deep. I wouldn't recommend coming to this Florida trail in Osceola National Forest unless you have water shoes because it's completely swampy. We've been driving through the Osceola National Forest just on random back roads looking for snakes and other things. This is kind of getting a little bit ridiculous because there's all these holes from the trucks and the four-wheelers. Like, look at this. And we're driving a little car and this is making it kind of difficult. He's mad because I wanted to get out and film. I'm worried we're gonna get stuck in here. You know, we don't even know where we're going. My map stopped working. <laughs> 
looks like a mixture of like Georgia and Florida. Ooh. He's worrying me because he just pulled off and said he's heard something. Oh great. It fell off? Good thing he fell off. Uh oh. Yeah, the whole thing fell off. Oh, that's not looking good. Well, George had it tied. So we have a bulge in the tire and the underneath part of the car, something snapped off. So Garrett's putting the spare on right now. But like I said in the beginning of the video, it wouldn't be a Lauren Garrett trip if nothing went wrong, right? Garrett got the new tire put on, but now we are literally in the middle of the Osceola Forest and I don't know if we're going to make it to our campsite on time. <laughs> Aww, he wants to fry. <laughs>